The Chudley Knighton Nature Reserve in Devon is the last place in England where the narrow-headed ant is found. This is the nest of the narrow-headed ant. It's an amazing construction. We've got the main chamber that sat beneath us here underground, and then they've built this incredible grass thatch roof, which offers the colony amazing insulation. The ants work relentlessly, refreshing the grass on the thatch and removing debris to maintain the perfect conditions for their developing young. This constant cycling of nutrients creates really healthy soil, which benefits all the other plants and animals living here, including us. So it's easy to dismiss these little guys as not so important, but actually by working together as one super organised, efficient team, they actually become the dominant species here on the heath. Within a 10 metre radius of the nest, a constant stream of workers scours every inch of the ground for prey, devouring everything in their path. Not only are the ants super effective hunters, but they are also amazing farmers. And you normally find their nests really close to a birch tree like this one, and this is why. The ants milk these aphids for their honeydew, a highly nutritious sap that the aphids drink from the tree. It's amazing that such tiny animals can be farmers, and in return for the honeydew, the ants protect the aphids from predators. narrow-headed ants can also be vulnerable. A candy-striped spider lies in wait, poised for any signal that her stores of prey are being raided from the web. This ant has discovered some trapped nest mates and attempts to cut them free before they are detected. But the spider's warning system has alerted her. The ant must leave them to their fate. In the past, England was covered in areas of heathland like this, but the narrow-headed ant has disappeared as their home has been lost to human development. Once a year, some of the ants hatch out with wings, ready to leave the nest and find new homes. But these ants can't go anywhere. This tiny patch of heathland is surrounded on all sides by farmland, a clay pit mine and roads. So, effectively, they're stuck. Fortunately, Back From The Brink partners are working hard to resolve this problem. They're looking for new locations for nests, helping the ants spread from this tiny patch. Small herds of cattle roam freely here, keeping the heath open and the grass low to make space for the narrow-headed ant. These captivating little animals are only just clinging on here in Devon. They are a back from the brink priority because if we protect these ants, the heath will be protected for all the other animals that live here too. You can be part of the solution. Volunteer at your local nature reserve in town or in the country and discover which awesome animals are living there. Back from the Brink is one of the most ambitious conservation projects ever undertaken. It aims to save 20 species across England, all of which are nearly extinct. It is the first time ever that so many conservation organisations have come together with one focus and the power of collaborating like this is really beginning to make things happen. Much of this success, of course, is down to the local people. So far, over 2,000 people have volunteered to help back from the brink. This amounts to over 4,000 days, or 10 years of working days given for free to help protect our wildlife and wild spaces. That's pretty incredible.